Um, how much time you got? <laughs> um, all right, well, I heard about 50, you know, three, four years ago, um, he had dropped a song called Your Life's on the Line, and it was a couple of other things that he had going on in the streets at the time, and, um, you know, I just had been hearing about him, but I was working on the Marshall Mathers LP, so, you know, when, when, when you're in album mode, you, you got to concentrate on your own stuff, but, you know, you, you keep your ear to the street or whatever, and we heard about 50, and then in the same week I was actually in New York, you know, we heard about what had happened to 50, a couple of things that had happened to him, and, you know, 50 went away for a minute. He was going off the scene for a second, and then it was quiet, and then all of a sudden, bam, 50 was back, and, like, the truth is, nobody knew what was going to happen to 50 at that point. Like, you know, shit got quiet, it died down. 50 came back, he hit the mixtapes, he did all the G-Unit stuff. Like, you know, 50 just, he hit the streets. All the mixtape DJs, everybody. Word got back to me, like I kept hearing things. And finally, uh, my manager Paul, like, after I was finished with my album, with the new album, hit me off with a CD, and I had actually been in a slump, like,